Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be working with the partial class. So now, what's a partial class? Uh, a partial class it's a way that we can define, uh, let's say, a class in different uh, files, okay, but inside the same name. So like, let's say that we have uh, a partial class uh, of type uh, math, okay and uh, i need to work on it and somebody else need to work on it but we don't want to let's say just define it in one place instead we want to work separately but still does uh, let's say not to create a new class okay so the same class will have the different methods we will uh, we will be writing although it might be in different files okay so now let's start by adding a new class okay and let's call that class let's call it the math partial okay now first thing first make sure you use the same access modifier okay so you cannot like create a partial class and another partial class with the same name but one is private and one is public uh, this will give you an error so now let's say public partial okay class math partial okay now again i will add another file and i will call it second math partial okay and i will add that now i will also need to make it public partial uh, of course it's need to be a class okay now before i continue i need to copy this name do you see an error or uh, anything wrong is going on no absolutely not since we saying that this is a partial class we can define we can add like uh, another file with the same name of the same class uh, there are no difference and the compiler will understand that this class have different parts and he will combine it and use it as one okay so now let's start adding uh, some properties okay i would like to add uh, let's say integer number one okay and i will add another one number two all right now in the second file i will create a method called calculate or i will make it integer and say calc okay now it will return what num1 plus num2 okay now just take a look a quick look with me we don't have any kind of definition for num1 and num2 inside this file okay but in the other file we have it defined and since this is a partial class this is absolutely valid and we can do it so now what we will do we will go ahead and create a new object of this class okay we'll call it uh, math partial okay math okay new math partial okay and as you notice we are just like defining a regular c sharp class there are no difference okay so now if i call in the math object notice that i can get all the methods okay and all the properties even if they are like defined in separate files okay there are no difference we can call like the calculate all right we can pass and we can even like do an object initializer as you notice this is num1 five let's take num eight okay if I call in the math class dot calculate 
and I run you the application we will see 13 since we created the add uh, or the calculate uh, method right here okay so now as you notice there are no like difference although they are in separate class but everything like is visible so this class also can see uh, this file can also can see the calculate method and work on it so if I just create a method for void other okay now if I call in the calculate as you notice I have no problem whatsoever so even this file have the calculate method I can call it in the other file no problem uh, or anything like this okay so now also if I come over here and I make this class take this interface okay I will implement the members okay now notice that we don't have an error right here what about the other partial uh, file okay do we need to implement the uh, the methods and the properties of the interface in the second partial we don't need to okay we can just only define it at one and we can if I come over here we can simply see them okay the type name and the save data method okay no problem whatsoever okay now again let's come back over here I will remove these okay and I will inherit the profile class okay now what will happen if I come over here let me just remove this okay notice that I have the properties right here of the profile class okay so I need to inherit it only once okay I don't need to go like this to the other class okay it's not uh, absolutely necessary okay you just need to do it only in one class and the uh, or in one file okay and the other files will see it no problems whatsoever okay so that's for the inheritance and interface okay so i hope you enjoy and find this uh, tutorial useful thank you for watching